Walk us through a, an eventful year for you, my goodness. I mean, starting, uh, coming out of college, Ohio State, Indy, Rockford, the goaltending carousel that was at one point. But, uh, I mean, what's your biggest takeaway from your first year pro? Uh, well, it was very exciting first year. Um, the biggest takeaway is definitely d the development side. Um, it was great to get a taste of both leagues, get some games, um, and develop that way. So, um, But biggest takeaway was obviously getting a taste here in Rockford and, um, you know, want to be back and, and keep developing. And with that development during the postseason, obviously the, the black ace mentality of working with the coaches, getting that extra ice time when normally a summer might come a little bit earlier for you. How did you handle that approach? Obviously, it's a lot of practices. It's a lot of technicalities and video sessions. But, I mean, how did that benefit you now going into the summer of training? Well, the big thing was just kind of being around the group and being around the guys and seeing kind of every day what they were going through and um, obviously being a part of a great playoff run. So, um, you know, it was an exciting time. It was great for me to get a taste of that in my first year and um, kind of see how guys handle themselves and, and go through that, that postseason. And, um, yeah, like I said earlier, just kind of a, a great taste for me next year and, and eager to get back at it. When you measure yourself and your accomplishments, and where do you feel like you excelled going into your first pro year and, and, the, uh, and the games that you've seen, and where do you feel like you're going to be working on here this summer? I think the big thing for both those questions is just the consistency factor. Um, you know, obviously pro schedule playing, playing a lot of games every year, 80-plus games. So, um, you know, it's kind of night in, night out, how you prepare and, and how you perform. So um, kind of just dealing with different ups and downs throughout the year. and and uh, the emotional factor and trying to keep even keel through the highs and lows is, is a big part of what's going to be uh, you know allowing me to be successful and then finally what are your summer plans i know it's an abbreviated summer between now and then the start of training and all the camps coming up but what's matt Tompkins going to be doing here to help unwind and get ready for a new year yeah it's a, a shorter summer but uh kind of you know just stick with what i've been doing lately and get home and unwind a little bit relax and then take a couple of weeks off and then start getting back at it and getting in the gym, getting on the ice and, um, you know, just spending a lot of time with family and friends and, and enjoying my time at home.